Howdy friends and welcome to The Average J. So today we're going to give a try for Avello Airlines out of Newcastle Airport. Uh, I guess you could call it Wilmington Airport uh, in Delaware. So every time we fly to Florida, or really anywhere, we fly out of Philadelphia, and it's hectic, it's big, it's a lot of people, and not everybody's real nice. So um, we decided to give Avello a try. Um, apparently the parking is a breeze, and um, I don't know, I, I think TSA will be a, a breeze too. But again, this is just going to be a quick review on a budget, no frills, uh, regional to main airport. I know that they are a pay for everything you do. It was funny because you know I've seen you know joke videos about how you have to pay for everything, but um, I am military, so I should, fingers crossed, get my bag for free. We'll check that out when we get to the airport. Um, and I do know, if I'm not mistaken, they don't have a beverage service on the aircraft. So, but we'll go through it, and uh, that's what this short video will be made it to Newcastle Airport and one thing I love is this is the parking so they do have three lots here this is lot a and we were lucky there were still 12 spots available which is nice they actually have a count but if you look behind me over there um, they have a sign that says B and C lot so there are additional lots here let me show you the airport itself so it says Thank you, Delaware. Fly Wilmington, fly Avello. So, and I'm, I hope I'm saying Avello right, you know, so. And the tower. Not much to it. So here's the uh, counters. And it's not manned yet, so. But there's our flight, 559, going to Orlando. All right, so there we go. We got the plane going uh, behind us. We still have about an hour and 45 minutes until we take off. Uh, I got my boarding pass, and um, because I'm Me too. Michelle got her boarding <laughs> pass, and so does Alex, so we're all set. Um, I, one thing I want to say was they opened the gate uh, or the ticketing agent two hours prior to the flight, so and they were like about five minutes late, but they gave a good announcement so that it would be organized um, one thing they're very strict on um, your personal item if it's over a certain size they are going to charge you for a carry-on so all right well uh, it's time to load up and they started out with people who needed um, you know like wheelchair access people with small kids and then they did surprisingly uh, do military boarding next so uh, Michelle is walking out you know and you come out from that door back over there and it's just a big ramp going up in It is unusual, as we normally fly out of Philadelphia, to have to walk outside to get on a plane. Thank goodness it's a beautiful day. Love the sunshine. How you doing? Of 
All right, so we did get on the aircraft. Um, the way that I set up the seats, Michelle and Alex are a row ahead of me. Um, but because this way Alex and I can each get a window. And you can see outside. Good afternoon and welcome aboard have a one time service to Orlando, Florida. Any food, help looking at your seat or finding space for your care and items, please ask one of our flight attendants in the cabin because we'll be happy to assist you. All right, we're pushing back. They said the flight time is going to be two hours and seven minutes. Two hours and seven minutes. Maybe it's going to be a lot less because this flight is empty.
right, so made it to Orlando, and the flight was good. I thought there was a decent amount of leg room. The plane was a little dated, a little old, a little scratches wear and tear. You don't have the uh, modern conveniences of like the USB ports or anything, but in general, I thought it was good. I thought it was a little harsh landing, but in general, not too bad. Going to pick up luggage now. So that's one leg of the trip. So we'll have to do the uh, other leg after vacation. We'll put that one in too. Four to six days later. Okay, we are on the plane and I didn't get a chance to really do a whole big uh, Outro. <laughs> no, review oh, of, oh, of oh. going from Orlando to Wilmington. But I will say, so Avello's terminal is um, in Terminal A. Okay, yeah. Terminal A. And we're, we're going out of Gate 112, which is really right after you came yeah. off the tram. So <laughs> yeah, you go through security, then um, uh, take the tram, and it's almost right there. So we got some McDonald's French fries because, again, they don't have a, a beverage or snack service on this airline. Um, the boarding process was just as easy as it was yeah. in Wilmington, with the exception of you don't have to walk up a ramp. Okay. It's, outside it's ramp, yeah. outside ramp. It's, it's an, an inside. a normal jetway, so mm -hmm. that was cool. Yep. And uh, now we're just waiting. They're boarding up. They did, again, they did military boarding, which was mm -hmm. nice to get on. But not that we had anything put in the overhead, mm -hmm. so it didn't really just make much difference. Just to carry out your a, personal item. Your personal item. Michelle was saying that... Um, there's not a ton of legroom, so if you're a larger person, it's it's tight. It is. So, but we'll see how the flight is. <laughs> Just a little note that uh, I have something dripping on me from the ceiling. There. <laughs> not really sure what it is, but something's dripping. Alright, we landed. Landed safe. It, it was a hard landing. It was a little bumpy. Yeah. But uh, they put the, um, just like when we left from Wilmington, <laughs> it was the um, portable ramp. So now I'm going to see how the luggage works here at Wilmington. Yeah. I think it was a bumpy landing because it's such a short runway. I think it's, I think it has to get her down and <laughs> maybe but he did he did bounce down pretty hard yeah he did <laughs> so this is a little strange this is how we're doing it it's not any kind of a circular baggage cart it's literally just some ramps and a dude handing stuff through from the back <laughs> well we got back and i forgot to film an outro so I'm going to give it to you now we're going to give you the pros and cons of our flight to and from Wilmington Airport uh, Newcastle Airport to Orlando on Avello Airlines so I'm going to give you the pros first pro without a doubt the price I mean I think the base cost of a ticket is like $69 um, we paid a hundred dollars the ticket because we did want to select our seats Although we could have really sat anywhere on those planes. But there's no guarantee that you're going to be on a half-empty flight like we were. So if you really, truly want to sit together, you might want to pay the extra money for uh, selecting your seat like we did. Um, number two, the aircraft were clean, um, comfortable. There were two different planes, one going down, one coming back. And you could tell because the seats were different. The seats on the aircraft on the way down from... Delaware down to Florida were definitely cushier seats with more legroom. The ones coming back, they were thinner seats uh, in material-wise, and um, and uh, not as much legroom. But I mean, it's a budget airline. It's way more comfortable than seats I've been on in Frontier and Spirit. So uh, you know, as as far as comfort, it's it's one of the best. Uh, discount seats I've ever sat in. Um, the staff of Avello was so, they were all friendly. I, we didn't have one negative interaction with any 
member of Avello Airlines staff. Um, the, the flight crew, um, the desk clerks, everybody were just fantastic to work with or, or to deal with. So, you know, the, the staff was just absolutely top notch. Um, now, I will say Wilmington Airport as being a regional airport, parking was cheaper. Um, that was a, a bonus. And um, TSA, it... I don't think it took us five minutes to get through security um, once we were ready to head to the gate. So definite bonus of flying out of Newcastle versus flying out of Philadelphia. Um, I, I would say if you have mobility issues, a con might be getting up the ramp. I mean, you can do it. It's a ramp. They can get a wheelchair up there. but. You know, it, it takes somebody who's kind of strong to push a wheelchair up that ramp. Um, so if you have mobility issues, it may be a little bit difficult. Um, but overall, you know, there were there were quite a few pros. Cons, um, it is a budget airline. You know, you're not getting them coming by with um, a, you know, beverage cart or a snack cart or anything like that. So you want to bring your own snacks or, or beverage. Um, also, flying out of Newcastle, it is a regional airport. You're not going to find, you know, 10 restaurants. You know, you don't find any restaurant. You find vending machines. Good vending machines, but, you know, there's no restaurants there. So, you know, it's a small regional airport. And if you're going to be there for any period of time, although I don't see why you would need to get there hours early, um, I think, you know, if I was to do it again, you know, I would get there. A half an hour before the flight is ready to depart you know um, I wouldn't get there any later than that but um, a, a prime example is the flight from Florida back to Delaware everybody that was ticketed was on the plane 20 minutes before it was supposed to take off and we got to leave a little bit early because everybody was there so you know I wouldn't cut it to the very end and just you know run into the airport but there's no need to be there hours beforehand. Uh, again, they don't even open the uh, ticketing desk until two hours before anyway. So if you get there more than two hours, you're just sitting waiting for staff anyway. Um, be very aware of your personal item, the size of it. Measure it ahead of time because if it's too big, they are going to charge you. So, I mean, I guess that's a con is, you know, they're very hawkish on checking your personal item. Um, the landing, both going down and coming back, were bumpy. Maybe, maybe not as much landing in Orlando, but definitely landing in Wilmington. I mean, you know, it came, it came down with a thud. I mean, I felt safe, but you know, you knew you were on the ground. Um, and the other thing I would say that would be, I, I don't know if it, it's not a con or a positive. It's just something to kind of understand is. You know, they're, they're the, you know, small airlines. So, you know, they're, they don't have like the premium gate space, I would say at like Orlando. Um, it, it was a pretty good walk from the gate to get our luggage. And although it, they were fast getting luggage off the airplane, because by the time I got down to where the luggage was at Orlando, it was already coming around. But I did hear a nightmare story uh, from somebody else on YouTube that I guess they stopped uh, at the Orlando airport before they went and got their luggage. They stopped and just got something from a store. Maybe it was a bite to eat. And by the time they got down there, they didn't think that their luggage had gotten off. But here, I guess it got down there so fast, it was around the carousel and the airline took it back and turned it in as quote unquote unclaimed. So. You know, if you do fly a velo, make sure you get like directly to the baggage claim once you get to Orlando. Get your bag before you do anything else. Get your food later. So, but in general, Michelle and I were very happy with our flight on a velo. Will we fly them again? Absolutely, we really will. Um, we're not really into the you know the big frills, you know, or, or anything like that. It's a seat on an airplane getting us to a destination for a vacation. So um, I really enjoyed flying through Newcastle Airport versus Philadelphia. It was fantastic. Although, here, here's another thing. Um, 
if you drive there and park, when you leave, don't pay at the kiosk inside of the terminal. Wait until you get to the like lifting gate in the parking lot just before you get out onto Route 13 and 40 because um, I paid inside at the kiosk and then I went out there and all you're supposed to do is like take your receipt and flash it up against the, the little screen and it says, okay, go ahead and pay whatever the amount was again. I don't remember the exact amount. I'm, I'm like, I paid already. So I had to back up. Luckily, there's no treadles under the tires or anything. I could back up, go back inside. I found security. They told me they'd send somebody out. They didn't. I went back in. It took me like almost 20 to 25 minutes to get out of the parking lot because we had those issues. So to avoid that altogether, just pay as you go out the gate. Don't try to do it ahead of time inside the terminal before you leave. And uh, But yes, we would definitely fly a Velo again. It was a good flight. You know, no frills, but it got us safely to Orlando and back with uh, a decent terminal in Wilmington. So... Um, that's about it. Uh, if you've ever flown a budget airline before, um, and you had a good experience like we did, comment down below what airline did you have a good discount experience with. But thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.